What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, we got to talk about John Cena being on SmackDown for the next few weeks. Um, apparently, John Cena has uh, um, been announced for several dates, not only for this week's SmackDown, but other uh, multiple weeks throughout the rest of September, October, consecutively at some points. So, we got to see what's going on with that um we're getting some of this information from the wrestling uh observer uh we're gonna get right into this one because this is very interesting to see my boy uh john cena aka you can't see me man actually being seen on smackdown so this should be a very interesting one let's get right into this one john cena announced for seven additional wwe smackdown episodes cena is making an extended return to wwe television should be quite interesting john cena is making an extended return to wwe television wwe has announced that cena will be appearing on eight smackdown episodes during september and october so my bad it was only just six september and october um in addition to the one date that uh he has already confirmed for cena will be appearing on seven straight smackdowns from september 14th through october 27th here is the full list of smackdown episodes that cena has been announced for friday september 1st uh in hershey pennsylvania the the giant center friday september 14th denver colorado ball arena friday september 22nd glendale arizona desert diamond arena friday september 29th sacramento california the golden one center friday october 6th st louis missouri enterprise center friday october 13th tusa um tusa uh, oklahoma uh the bok center never heard of that <laughs> a lot of these i haven't heard of uh friday october 20th san antonio texas the at&t center and friday october 27th uh milwaukee was wisconsin the fishery form okay that's an interesting name I, i'm pretty sure i mispronounced that but yeah it looks like there's a lot of confirmed dates that he will be there for throughout his smackdown return cena in a partnership with make a wish will host children and their families in each of the eight cities to experience a wwe event in person wwe wrote the only smackdown between now and october 27 that won't feature cena is september 8th episode when cena will be in action at wwe superstar spectacle live event in india cena is teaming with seth rollins against the imperium luke with kaiser and giovanni vinci at the event cena returns to wwe uh comes at a time when hollywood actors and writers are on strike and most film and television production has been halted cena was in action at wrestlemania 39 earlier this year in the lost in austin the uh to austin theory he has also appeared at money in the bank this july where he uh lobbied for a future wrestlemania to be brought to london cena also took part in an angle with grayson waller at money in the bank yeah man this is uh quite interesting to hear that my boy john cena will be around for the next few weeks and it's going to be quite interesting to see what they have him do granted it does make sense since his schedule has definitely cleared up since pretty much hollywood is at a uh a standstill right now with the uh the writers uh writers uh, uh strike and stuff like that so it's one of those things where it's like uh, i mean the writers and the actors uh on strike as well so it's one of those things where hollywood is kind of at a standstill he's not really going to be doing anything movie related or television related so they get all that sorted out so why not come back to the wwe and and uh you know help some boys out you know what I'm saying maybe get some people over or you know create some interesting feuds the question i want to pose to y'all is since john cena is coming back and he will be back for the uh next few weeks actually do you have him go into a feud do you have him you know put somebody over do you have him go for a title the only other title he could go for that's on smackdown is the united states championship do you have him go for that that's a very very interesting question that i want to pose to you guys me personally um if he's going to be here for these few weeks going forward seven to eight weeks or whatnot i would have him have a a, a a little a little feud with somebody somebody new or somebody fresh i really wish uh you know 
Edge hadn't quote unquote retired, I would have loved for John Cena and Edge to have one more go around. That would have been so good, bro, because you can stretch that out. I would have definitely loved that. But if you do have John come back, I wouldn't mind having him, you know, have some interactions with some of the, the newer talent or, you know, maybe bring up some some old old feuds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe Rey Mysterio is still the United States champion. So uh, maybe you have John Cena and Rey Mysterio go at it, you know, like like they used to. You know what I'm saying? I think that, that could be quite interesting too. Or, or, and I hope they do this and they need to do this because this is the perfect time. I would have la night have some type of interaction with john cena i would say maybe do it after payback payback is this saturday as of me filming this so after la night beats the miz which he fucking should <laughs> after he does that i would like to see la night you know have an interaction with john cena i think that would be amazing if there's any way to start getting somebody even over, have him have that interaction with John Cena. Put him, put him to the test to see if he can hang with the promo skills of John Cena and then maybe even set up some type of match that you can set up going forward. What y'all think about it? Because honestly, I don't want him to go for the United States Championship. I think that's done. I, I If you were to do it, that's fine, but I don't think you need to do it. I think... If he is going to come back, his sole purpose should be to get somebody else over. It didn't really work with Austin Theory, but I do think it will work with LA Knight because he's already over. So now put him in the ring with a certified, you know, he's he's John Cena. Like everyone knows who John Cena is. He's the cert he was the certified guy for WWE for so long. He's the poster boy for WWE at one point put him in the ring with john cena have them have a back and forth maybe even have them have a match at some point and to see where he stands against one of the greats to ever do this and see what happens i'm all for it i think the fans will be all for it it'll be something fresh we haven't seen before and it'll be must see tv because people are going to tune in just to hear what la Knight has to say to john cena oh my god get it going the same thing they did with aj styles and john cena when aj styles was pretty much the guy on smackdown and they had john cena feud with him and it was one of the best feuds on smackdown and it was a really good feud between aj styles and john cena do the same thing here you can have some great matches great storytelling great feuds great promos i'm all for it this, we, we're kind of taking you know the bloodline stuff is taking a back seat i think this is a great way to get people even invested even more invested in smackdown if you have la knight john cena have a back and forth tell me i'm not lying here tell me tell me when i'm telling lies man this that will be entertaining so hopefully they do that but y'all let me know down below what would y'all have john cena do for these next few weeks he's gonna be there for about seven episodes what would y'all have john cena do coming back to wwe on smackdown would you have him go for the united states championship would you have him feud with somebody else somebody new let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k now i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace